and go for it. Hey YouTube, it's Matt with Lips Reptiles. We have an egg cutting and you're going to notice we're not live. That's because we're going to do that a little bit different. Uh, first and foremost, one, I'm soaking a rattlesnake. It's kind of like a timer. So in here is a rattlesnake having a rough shed getting a big old box of doom. Uh, we might play with that live on Patreon after we do this, but you won't get a chance to go see because I'm going to do that live on Patreon. Here's the thing. We cut eggs live usually to show, uh, to be transparent. We want to show every clutch we have, good or bad. Uh, we're going to continue to do that until they get internet in this house, which has been a several year process because of the rock. I just got told they have to get some new machine to get, I don't know what the hell is going on. Anyway, uh, the feed is just terrible because we're doing it from cell phone feed. After numerous complaints of of that, which I totally understand, even though my intent is to be transparent, your intent is to watch good content, and those two things don't go together with crappy internet. So what we've decided to do is we're going to just static record the egg cutting, and then we're going to upload it. Good or bad, you're going to see it. As a matter of fact, if you think we're full of crap, you'll be able to watch and see. We're going to post a number of every egg cutting we do, and you'll see every number save one. And that's because one was live birth boas, so I want to say that was number 14 or 15. We won't have that number but we're going to show you those bones anyway. That was because they were live birth and off-site, not here at the Reptile House. But every other number you're going to see because transparency is very, very important to me. Uh, I don't know if anybody else is as transparent awesome as us on that. And if they are, it's because they learned it from us. We were the first place to ever do egg cuttings live. I mean, not just an egg cutting. I mean, every single egg cutting, good or bad. And I've had some bad ones. I've had some really good ones, and we've always shared them with you. Okay. After that little spiel as to why this wasn't live, let's get on down to business. What are we working on here? This is a Suma to a Pastel, I believe. No. No. Scratch that. Suma to Black Pastel. So I'm very, very excited about this. Every baby then should be mahogany. Some of them should be mahogany Black Pastel. So that's what we're working on here. Uh, I'm just going to lower this down. Caleb and I have been working all day and running around and setting up some new venomous cages. we got a bunch of vision cages we've been setting up. We have had quite the day, so I'm going to sit while I do this. That's why I bought a table that goes up and down. All right, here goes nothing. It is really weird to do this without people asking me questions. I don't know how I'm going to keep this going the entire time. So what we like to do is make a little snip like that. Anybody wondering, these are day like 55 or something, they're ready. And we're going to be going out of town here soon. So I wanted to get this done before I went out of town. Oh. So that, boys and girls, I believe is a combo. Yeah. Right off the... Right off the rip. Right off the rip. Oh, yeah. Look at that side pattern. Those things are just cool. So uh, this is going to be one of the ways we work to make really dark snakes look at the head on that i know the eye stripes almost completely faded out yeah uh so what our goal is is to make all black snakes of course that are stable we don't want to get into the cine or super cine or super black pastel everybody wants to bitch about spider but let's bitch about the things that when they're born kink up like people who still do that a lot although there are some stable lines so i'm not trying to rip anybody some people are able to do that with certain lines that are very stable uh, we could also complain about caramel. Well, what the hell we got going on here? That, boys and girls, is probably another combo. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that back on that, that thing. That is sick. Yeah, just gorgeous. Woo! So, two for two. Let's keep those odds rolling. Yeah. Uh, as a community, I would rather work against that uh that being said any issue with any morph you always should disclose it you should ask your customer if they know about it and if they don't know about it you should tell them i mean that's just kind of common sense have you seen on this no three in a row yeah oh yeah no doubt about it oh yeah no doubt about that one. Oh yeah that one's a nice one too okay guys i do swear i solemnly <laughs> swear <laughs> We are not using a super black pastel to do this. That's three in a row. I'm sure the odds gods are going to catch up here in a minute. And we're going to get some straight up mahogany. The mahogany's in the egg are not going to look much different than the normal. So anytime you're seeing that combo, it's going to be pretty evident. Mm -hmm. 
I can't see on this one yet. Oh. There it is. Now that one It's a little hard to tell right now, but I think we may be dealing with just a mahogany in there. Just a mahogany, some really good flaming, is my guess. Uh, and you can see the reason I'm saying that is see how not wonky that pattern is compared to this guy here. See the difference? It's pretty clear. Yeah. Pretty clear. Really clear. So, uh, so far we have three mahogany black pastels and one mahogany. That's my guess, anyway. I'm pretty confident with three of those. The combos. <laughs> I can't see it, so you're going to see it before me. It's combo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at that. Three for four, yo. You can really see the difference right there. Yeah. Well, it's head... Is not like that one said. Mm -mm. Interesting. That's very interesting. Interesting. But definitely not Seattle yep. Jane Black Pastel, I don't think. Or sorry, Mahogany. Mahogany. The only way we wouldn't get mahogany is if it was retained sperm clutch, which I'm highly doubtful of because she hadn't gone in a few... <laughs> oh, damn. We are just smoking it. Yeah. Well, that... Oh, man, I can't tell really quick. I may have gotten a little bit prematurely excited on that one. Oh, no. That's combo, I think. Yeah. You can see on the... Yeah. Cause a little bit of blood flow on that one. Wow. Ah. Uh, Pretty sure one's a combo too. These are very liquidy eggs. Very gooey, gooey. Last one, go out with the bang. What is it, Caleb? Combo or normal? Or not normal, but mahogany. Uh, combo for sure. Combo for sure. Oh, the last time I said something for sure, it ended up not good. If you're wrong on this, I'm never gonna ask you again, <laughs> okay? I have a 50-50 shot. You do, we always wanna go out with a bang, you know? I saved your other one for last, and we went like. <laughs> Oh no. Don't be oh no, I think you're there, oh, buddy. No, I am. Okay. From the angle. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, you're there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Now when we pick our hold backs, guys, here's the thing. Um this is a clutch that's gonna have some hold backs, okay? Damn. I think we got like I think all but one. Six out of seven. Uh, this will be a clutch with some hold backs, and I should fucking get this crap. Oh, forgot. Can't say that. I should get this stuff out. Fire trucking. So what we're going to do is just get rid of all the excess crap we don't need now in the egg tub. Which means we don't need our holders and we don't need this thing. There's a really good chance these are going to crawl out while I'm gone, uh, which is fine. You know, I ain't going to hurt nothing. But I don't want them to get their little head stuck in this grate, you know. And what this is, guys, this is coconut fiber that was stuck on the eggs. So I just what that is. It just, you know, it's over time falling off. So sometimes your eggs are a little bit dirty. Not a problem. So you want to take that out. It just keeps them from getting their heads caught in there when they do come out. Uh, and they're going to be just fine. Back to the holdbacks. So a couple things with this. With our goal of making a really dark snake, right, that is going to help dictate what we hold back. You always hear this phrase, quality in, quality out, quality in, quality out. And you've heard me, I say that it's, it's a true phrase. And you've heard me say quality is in the eye of the beholder. Well, this is a great example because one of the first ones we cut, I can't remember what it was, I had think that it's... super dark head. Was it over here? This one. Oh, that one's the one that's playing mm. straight mahogany. Oh, bummer. Wasn't that one. Like, this is a good example, okay? This one looks very dark in there. Very broken up. We're going to want, if I have a choice, 
of keeping the darkest of the dark. I almost got a really light head. You know, so we're going to look for the darkest of the dark, and we're going to look for the sex we need, and we're going to make our decisions based on that. There may be people who say, hey, I want more pattern. I think the more pattern, the wonkier, the prettier the snake. There's some truth to that. For me, though, I'm trying to get to that jet black snake and then eventually purple that up a little bit. I want as close to solid as I can and as dark as I can. Because the darker that individual is, the more likely that when I breathe dad back to it and try to make some suma black pastels, the more likely we get the true jet black snake. Uh, dark, 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 dark. And that's where you hear the quality out, quality in. When you're looking at your project and you're picking what you want for your project, your eye needs to be tuned towards how will this affect my end goal and picking the best example for your end goal, okay? Which isn't always going to be the best example to somebody else, but for your end goal, it absolutely will be. I am very happy with these. We smoked the odds. It's what I wanted. Uh, that's freaking awesome. As long as we get the right sex ratio now or somewhat close to it, I'm going to be a happy camper. Truth be told, what do I need out of here? Uh, I probably need, I probably need females. Uh, I have a male Suma. I could take a female, graze it up, run that back and be right there. I could also keep a male if I choose to. The reason being, I have a female banana mahogany I'm raising up. I could throw that to it right there, be looking at black pastel Sumas, uh, you know, and all of that. But I'll probably probably keep females and then I will use my original Suma to go back to his daughters from different females to do things like Suma Banana, Suma Black Pastel and then once I get that and pick the whole back from there which is a long route of doing the short route will be going straight to my Suma or my Mahogany Banana pick my hold backs from there trying to get the darkest of the dark to then use a banana to pull the purple from. So that is what we're going to work on. Uh, Caleb, anything you want to add? Nope. Killed the odds. We killed the odds. That is freaking awesome. That's proof that we, you know, if I would have done crappy odds, I'd have still loaded it. But, or if I'd have had seven dead babies, I'd have still loaded it. Yeah, because you should have only hit three. Yes, roughly. We roughly. have seven eggs, three or four. And, again, I mean, just looking, you can look and tell. We'll just kind of go through them again really quick. Uh, that one's hard to see right now because, again, there's some blood there, which is fine. But that's definitely a combo. Pretty certain. Uh, that one. You can really see it right through there. Definitely a combo snake. There's its head. That might have been with a really cool head. This one, you can see how dark that is in there. How that pattern's a complete mess. That's a combo. Because again, we can't have a single gene black pastel because we used a Suma. So everything has mahogany. That thing, that is that's sick. what I'm talking about right there. If that one's a girl, there's a good chance that one doesn't leave the house. Uh, this one here is likely... A combo it's hard to see in there but you can kind of see it through there from that top side it looks like a combo yeah it, it's it's likely a combo uh that does you can see those rings that's a black pastel thing so you mm -hmm. can see that black pastel shining through there's a lot of variance in this combination that i've seen this one is likely not a combo uh it just doesn't have the it looks like a nice mahogany like a mahogany you could tell a difference in which isn't all of them that one looks good and then this one Look at that belly. Yeah. It's a combo snake. All day long. So there's really no doubt. I'm pretty certain we got... Six out of seven. Six out of seven. For sure. All right, guys. We're going to go live to YouTube. Or, sorry, Patreon. And we are going to upload this. I will set this to upload probably tonight. It probably will not finish doing this rendering thing until tomorrow. Uh, we'll see. And I'll get it up so y'all can see it. Cutting eggs. Like, not live, but right after. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.